What's going on guys, Marco Flores here with Nerd in the Bay. Uh, we're talking about a topic today uh, that kind of raised some questions, uh, maybe some awareness. Maybe some people are freaking out a little bit about the survivability of King of Fighters 15 in a post Tekken 8 and Street Fighter 6 era. So TBL underscore X-Frame posed the question on Twitter. Do you guys think that King of Fighters can survive the upcoming era of Street Fighter 6 and Tekken 8? And the short answer is yes. King of Fighters can survive post Street Fighter 6 and Tekken 8. And it has before uh, when those franchises had their new games or their games have been going strong. And King of Fighters has always been there in the, in the forefront, basically. Has it been on top? Not exactly, but it's always been there. When you look back on the years of the tournament scene back then, uh, you had games like Street Fighter 4 and Street Fighter 5 as well as Tekken 6 and 7, and maybe some Tekken Tag 2. And then you can also add Mortal Kombat into that mix. Uh, King of Fighters has always been there uh, as well, uh, with King of Fighters 13 being the most beautiful game out there with its sprite work, as well as King of Fighters 14 uh, being more of the revival of the SNK brand. It may have not looked beautiful. We always see those memes of like Andy Bogard looking just jacked up. Uh, but it was it was a, it was a revival uh, with the SNK brand. And it had, a, it had a lot of characters, had a lot of ideas. And it was just like a, a return of the SNK King of Fighters format that we're all so used to if you played SNK games in the past. So let's ask the question of why the question is being asked if King of Fighters 15 can survive post True Fighter 6 and Tekken 8 moving forward. So why? Um, is there a worry there? Is, is, are you starting to see the player base being less and less? Uh, are you finding less matches as the days goes by and there's more more talk about Tekken 8 and Street Fighter 6, which is natural in, in the, the game development end, you know, especially wanting your attention and wanting to play your game and, st and stuff like that. But we're we're past the age where the audience is is just playing the one fighting game or, or the person is f just focused on being the best at this one fighting game. We're, we're, we're kind of past that as a casual general audience. Uh, maybe more of the tournament audience is, is focusing on the one game that they're more good at so they can possibly win said tournament. But the casual audience is like, uh, what's going on? So if you're brand new to the King of Fighters universe, this has been a consistent thing with the King of Fighters games living with the other fighting games that are out there. Uh, so they are kind of used to survival mode and you know, have been relying on their loyal community to keep the games afloat and you know surviving in a sense. But I know for me personally, I want more of a thriving community that I want it to be more on the top end like you know being the first place game or the first game or you know being the, the last grand finals of evo uh sort of situation you want king of fighters to be on top and you know deservedly so like i i grew up playing both street fighter and snk fighting games so like when street fighter there was no street fighter cabinets available or you know it, all the cabinets were full i was always playing snk games so and that's how i was able to get into fatal fury and art of fighting world heroes all those other games because when street fighter was not available to play i was able to play the snk four game cabinets and yeah that's how i got to know and, and love all these snk characters and when it comes down to it i, I love i kind of love more the snk characters than i do the street fighter characters so I, I go back and forth between you know capcom and snk so when it comes down to it snk will be fine snk will still be there it may not be like the top placing game you know in the tournament scene but it will still have its place and that's okay you know it can have its own spot in the whole fighting game genre community tournament scene it doesn't have to exactly be the top you know it could be the second place it could be the third place as long as it has a place in the community people will play you know discords will you know get matches together uh, you'll eventually find matches uh when you play the game and hopefully with this uh, crossplay update that more people will jump into King of Fighters uh, series, Steam and Xbox uh, joining into the fold and playing all together. So hopefully this update will kind of fix that matchmaking issue that we're all having. And it makes me think back of previous interviews from SNK that they want King of Fighters 15 to be 
a long-standing game where King of Fighters 15 is going to be played for a long while. And uh, before they even consider King of Fighters 16 or if it's going to be a dream match or the next canon story entry, uh, I think their SNK is going to go through the, ro the rotation of their other properties like Fatal Fury, Garo, you know, that, that green lit project. Or, you know, maybe a new Art of Fighting, or maybe a new World Heroes, or maybe a SNK Heroine. They are going through the rotation as of right now. And not only that, but also the idea, and, and everybody's already excited about a brand new, you know, Capcom versus SNK, or SVC Chaos, whatever, you know, that idea is going to be. Whether Capcom is going to make the next Capcom versus SNK, or S SNK is going to make their version of what they wanted to do with, you know, having Capcom characters in a SNK styled game. That's pretty exciting. So yeah, in, in my opinion, I don't think there's not much to worry about when it comes to, you know, King of Fighters sharing the space with Tekken 8 and Street Fighter 6 because it's a much better time to become a fighting game fan, enjoying fighting games because there's there's so much of a selection that you can pick from. Uh, you know, you can get into anime games, you can get into indie games, you can get into the uh, the high end studio games. Like, there's there's a place for everybody to enjoy fighting games. Like, you could you could play those one button type fighting games. You can play footsies. You can play dive kick. You can play all sorts of things. You can play old stuff as with Fightcade. There's not much of a better time than right now to enjoy fighting games of any kind. King of Fighters is going to be fine uh, when it comes down to it. So let's talk about what SNK and King of Fighters can do to grab more of the casual audience. Recently, there's been a big push of single player content uh, for fighting games. And you take a look at Street Fighter 6 and Tekken 8, and it seems to look like that's where they're going for the direction for their games. Like with Street Fighter 6 is going for World Tour mode and Tekken 8 going for that more cinematic immersion approach for their storyline single player stuff. Sorry. And to think about King of Fighters in, the, in that sense, maybe that can work, maybe not. Maybe they should go a different route. So what should King of Fighters do in terms of pushing that single player content? So let's say SNK is doing their own version of a cinematic story mode or a world tour mode. Uh, let's use King of Fighters 15 as the the game who can be the vehicle of that in my opinion it can be shune it can be shune considering their ending with uh shune and mienten kun and you know if say like you have multiple characters then you can add islas into that mix as well so you're coming from the perspective of like shune mienten kun and isla as they are learning about this king of fighters world since they dove right into king of fighters 15 without really knowing much of anything from the veterans right so Maybe they are touring the world in their off season and they come across like Terry Bogard working at a job site or Iori Yagami, you know, coming from a band gig and maybe they have fights with them. And maybe these veteran characters either give advice or, you know, give like some like lessons. Maybe they take them on as students. So you see like Isla or Mianzin Kun learn like a version of a burn knuckle uh, with their own abilities with Mianzin Kun being like a sleepy kung fu style and Isla being an amplified specter you know maybe they do their own versions of a, like a classic move and you get to see that in that progress as you're touring around an SNK King of Fighters world so like that would be like the world tour version of how they can do it and you could do it cinematically too like what Tekken 8 is doing why not do like a version of, of those things that are currently happening right now? You know, since SNK has always been not just SNK, but like SNK and Capcom are kind of one upping each other or copying from each other. Like, that's OK, you know. So with SNK and Capcom, it's more of been like friendly competition rivalry sort of versus like the communities of both of these companies where it's more like almost gang versus gang heated. Uh, rivalries like you have Crips versus Bloods and it's not it's not that serious uh, with SNK and Capcom they're more like drinking buddies but they're like hey let's, you know, I can do this can you do that so when you see these jabs like say Dan was created for because of the response of Rio and Robert and then you you kind of see them going back and forth it's like hey you know a little friendly jabs like hey how you doing you know but back at the topic at hand if you want SNK to have more of a, like an original 
way of trying to do single player content story stuff uh, to be honest just make more like special intros be have the characters in your roster with more like relationship connectivity that's i think that's what i, I know i personally would want to see you know i would love to see more special intros i would love to see those secondary uh special intros where it's in game and you know there's a some sort of acknowledgement between two characters that have like a relationship together like a terry and andy bogard you know going up against each other and like a little acknowledgement there or the ones you see now with like yes shiro and shermy and, and chris where they, you know, they say hi to each other because they know they're about to fight each other so I, I would love to see more special intros like just more relationship connectivity base game uh with the special intros it's not that many you know you would think that you would be able to see a terry bogard andy bogard special intro or like you know joe gashi he only has like a couple Con considering a lot of the returning fighters there's some sort of conversation or special intro thing that they can do with each other uh particular for me i personally loved all the conversation dialogue intros in king of fighters 13 where you know all the characters talk to each other in some form or fashion that's personally just for me i i, I know there may be people like oh, i don't really care just get straight to the fights but I, I love that every single character has some sort of interaction whether it is like an animation intro or whole conversation dialogues like I, I love that stuff like i'm really i'm really much a fighting game lore buff and fan so like give me more of that for me personally SNK is doing something right with the boss challenge mode for 15, so keep doing more of that. You know, so we have Omega Rugal starting it out, so we just need to keep adding more boss-like characters for 15. You know, so we we saw Goatnitz in the Team Awaken Rorochi's ending, so you could add him into the mix. You have you know all the Nest Saga bosses out there. You can have uh, the people of the past. You know, all all these uh, quote unquote factions and villains you can add for 15 in these boss challenge modes you can add them as characters you know as single entries uh they may not be canon entries but you know people would love to you know, have a rugal on their team or, or a mukai on their team just think about any sort of boss that you dealt with in king of fighters past you can think about like art of fighting 2 geese howard that that guy was super like upsetting and frustrating and hard so you can add like boss characters like that to add more more content to the game so transitioning over to the online portion of king of fighters 15 which is is pretty solid at the moment but it could always be improved of course the biggest complaint right now is matchmaking so hopefully the cross play cross platform uh, can help fix that the matchmaking instead of restricting players into just the one system having to be able to play with you know multiple people that are you know in multiple systems it can help with the, the matchmaking on that end, you know, and, and I just speak from my own experience, just uh, just playing with just the same people uh, when I play online, uh, which is okay, it's fine as I go through the ranks, but at the same time, I would love to play like all levels too, because I'm kind of coming at this as like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not noob-ish, but I'm still like, I'm still like, I consider myself like lower level, maybe at, at best like mid-level, whatever that's supposed to mean. And I'm also noticing that balancing is very few and far between. So from the la previous patch uh, of, of balance for, for the game, I, I kind of wish it was kind of more active. I don't know if, if I'm seeing every six months, but if it's not there right now, I would love to see like six month patches uh, to the game. So like people have like some time to get to know the game. Cause like right now you think about in the beginning, it was like very much, oh, Vanessa, uh, Ralph and Terry and now you look at this post like present game right now and it's literally I'm just seeing Cronin maybe Kula and maybe Rock. Rock is, Rock is pretty solid but like I'm seeing a lot more Cronin players out there than I thought I would uh, with the damage that he's able to do. Uh, I don't know if it's like doing like so much damage with like least amount of bar or what but you know, I would love to see a more variety of characters out there, you know? Um, so definitely more active patches that uh, can be more implemented. I'm trying to think if it's every six months, it doesn't feel like it at, at this time. It, but if it's not, then definitely like every six months, you can like change up the game a little bit and then 
at the end of the year change it up again um i mean i don't know how you guys feel about it do you guys want like six month patches or do you want like a whole year first of playing whatever the game is and then patch it within the next year so let me know in the comment section like what do you guys think about patch activity so what are your thoughts on the state of king of fighters 15 right now do you feel like it's a little worrisome do you think the game is dead already uh do you think the king of fighters 15 will survive it always will survive let me know your thoughts i would love to hear what you think of the state of king of fighters 15 and what they can improve on uh with like patches or you know story stuff or whatever whatever you you can think of what can they do to improve and entice people to you know return to the game and and maybe start the game themselves so we'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on that on the comment section down below um, as always like the video subscribe to the channel and uh we'll see you guys in the next king of fighters video or the next video all right take care guys peace